So we have our own sub-widgets that we're adding to our like hard canvas here, but what if we make a sub-widget that we want to be able to add other sub-widgets to? In the very first part of this series, I showed you something like this uh, sub-widget here, and I told you that the reason that I use an overlay here is because it can hold multiple different like other sub-widgets, in this case, four-corner images, because that was the example at the time. So you might think it's as simple as just going in and saying, hey, I want to add another image to this, and because it has an overlay, surely it's able to take in that image and add it to itself. But no, that's not quite how that works. Because from the perspective of this like canvas widget over here, this is just like a singular object now. This doesn't have any more like slots, this can't have any like children, because we haven't set that up specifically uh, to allow that. And from the perspective of this widget, this is just a singular object that manages everything about itself on its own. It's not a overlay anymore with different sub-images in it, it's just a WBP sub-widget. So, what we need to do in order to uh, fix that is we need to add in something called a named slot. So if we add in a named slot to this overlay, I'm going to align this to the uh, center here, and I compile this going back into our HUD here, we suddenly can see that we have, under our sub-widget WBP, a named slot. And now I can just drag our image onto that named slot, and the named slot will host that image. Meaning that we can go into a different instance of this same uh, widget class, and we can put something entirely different into it. So we can put in a text to this. So this goes one step beyond just the normal thing that we did here, which is we have four images and we can actually give in the exact textures that those images need to display on like variable basis. This is now a slot that can host entirely different types of widgets inside of it. And you're not limited to only uh, one, of course. What you can do, and it's not that difficult to do even, is we can go and make a user interface, widget blueprint, and we'll call this um, a slot stack or something like that just make this a vertical box and add in a handful of named slots. So let's say we have this many. If we put a slot stack now into our uh, HUD, so we can add in a slot stack here, we now have a thing that has all of these different named slots that we can put anything that we want into. Now the only major downside is following up on the last video where we made this dynamic box that dynamically adds in these buttons to this box. It doesn't seem like dynamically adding in these named slots is quite supported. Because if we go into the slot stack, and instead of doing this, we go into the event graph, after making sure that our vertical box is variable. If I try to add a child, and we could do that by constructing an object from class, if I try to construct a named slot and add that into this as a child, that just will not work, as you can see. So it seemingly simply just does not support adding named child slots uh, dynamically, at least as far as I have been able to figure out. So this very much is something that is limited in the way that you can apply it. That being said, though, of course, what you could do is you could just have this vertical box with um, two named slots in it, and you could nest these. I don't know necessarily if that is a great idea to do. I have read people running into issues with this. I haven't tried that out myself because I frankly think it's not really like all that useful. But you could try to like put a slot stack like into this slot stack, into this slot stack, and so on and so forth, right? So you could try to like nest these and then we can add in images into these but you can see that's already starting to be like a little bit iffy about it again probably don't do this if you're gonna do it this like weird anyway you might be better off just designing a specific like vertical box in this one widget to do that one thing these name slots have their limits they are very much not intended to be uh used super dynamically so just keeping it at like a set amount of name slots that you can use. You can do anything you want with these name slots. We can put in other widgets 
with like a lot of very complex code into those we have like that dynamic vertical box we can just put that into one of these name slots and stats right so if i remove this and put this in here it is very very tiny uh, admittedly but that is due to what we have set up here so if i just make this like as wide as the entire thing and then as tall as the entire thing we can set this to being an amount of uh, 15 or something like that right so you can add in complex dynamic stuff into these name slots just they don't really seem to be happy with being nested or dynamically generated on the go and a very big thank you to all my patrons you can see them on screen right now if you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials there's a link down below to the patreon page to support me or alternatively as a youtube member and a huge thank you to my cave big brain tier supporters which care more for coding than impulse control earl monsville erno my cave students tier supporters oiku and my cave digger tier supporters Mauricio Farias.